everyone today we will discuss get the 2011 question uh, two mark question and it is based on bjt in this question it is given that beta equal to infinite and vb equal to uh, 0 0.7 volt and uh, at what case this vb equal to 0.7 volt when this uh, base emitter junction is forward bias means it is on so in what uh, case that uh, base emitter junction remains on in active region and saturation region so for active region and saturation region vbe equal to this 0.7 volt and it is given that vce is at equal to 0.7 volt means in satura saturation region my vc will become uh, 0.7 volt okay so initially switch is closed means uh, and at t equal to 0 switch is open means before the t less than equal to 0 the switch was closed okay and we have to calculate the time t at which q1 is leaving the active region so let uh, t less than 0 t less than 0 what is switch is closed switch is closed means it is like this so my switch is closed so now one thing it is given that beta is equal to infinite beta is equal to infinite means ic by ib equal to infinite so my ib will be equal to zero so i e equal to ic by ib equal to ic okay means this ic equal to ie so let's calculate the ic so to calculate the IC, let's apply the KBL on this branch. So my this is this will be equal to minus five, minus point seven, and minus four point three IE, and uh, this is my plus ten equal to zero. So my IE will be equal to uh, uh, my five point seven minus plus ten divided by four point three. So it is. 4.3 by 4.3 it is my it is my in k okay so i will got 1 milliampere so my ie is equal to 1 milliampere it is equal to ic so ic is equal to 1 milliampere and from above in from the current source it is coming 0.5 milliampere means some current is coming from this side also and that current must must be equal to uh, 0.5 milliampere then only it will become 1 milliampere okay so we can see this thing by kcl also that uh, incoming current plus i equal to outgoing current so 0.5 uh, sorry this i equal to ic minus 0.5 so ic is equal to 1 milliampere and this is my 0.5 milliampere okay so i will got i equal to 0.5 milliampere so i got I. so it is my 0.5 milliampere okay so that much thing is calculated okay so let's check uh, at this condition t less than equal to 0 our transistor was in what region in question it is given that uh, our transistor at what time it is moving from active region to another region so it is uh, obvious that uh, our transistor was in active region it is in active region okay but uh, let's check at what region it is just uh, for understanding okay so for that uh, how we can calculate that to calculate that that in what region our transistor is we know in active region this is my transistor, this is my N, this is my N terminal, this is my V. Okay, this V C this V B this E V C B V C E. So in active region my V B E remains uh, forward wise. It forward wise this junction, this base emitter junction, and this V C B reverse by this junction is a collector based junction okay this is the condition for the active region okay so 
for this we have to calculate the VC then only we can apply the KVL so this two term we will know and what is these two terms are and we can apply then we can calculate the VCB so we have to calculate VCE so let's calculate the VC the voltage across the this capacitor is equal to zero why because this uh, is my short circuit the voltage so voltage across this is zero it is parallel with this so it also have the voltage equal to zero so VCT minus VCE and then minus 4.3 IE plus 10 equal to zero so uh, VCT equal to zero minus VCE minus 4.3 cross 1 plus 10 equal to 0 so my VCE equal to how much I will got I will got 5.7 volt now apply the KVL like this so I will got VCE sorry uh, VBE VBE and then plus VCB minus VCE equal to 0 okay so now what is my VBE VBE was my 0.7 my VCB we have to calculate VCB and my VCE is equal to uh, how much I calculated 5.7 volt 5.7 volt equal to 0 so my VCB will become equal to 5 volt okay so 5 volt means what it is equal to 5 so my positive terminal is connected to n negative terminal is connected to p means it is like this negative positive it is my 5 volt it is like this okay this is my positive terminal p terminal and this is my n terminal negative is connected to p negative is connected to p and the positive is connected to n c so it is my reverse bias so this is my condition for the active region okay so i can say my transistor is in active region so what i have i know till now that when my t is less than zero my ie equal to ic equal to one milliampere and i equal to 0.5 and 0.5 volt and this uh, transistor is in active region so now let's go on the case when t is equal is greater than equal to zero when t is greater than equal to zero but uh, at t greater than equal to zero switch will remain open circuit so switch is open circuit so it is like this now we can remove this so see now the capacitor will start to discharge okay what current is going outside it is going 0.5 milliampere so it is it is like discharging how it will discharge it will discharge linearly okay so how we can say it is discharging linearly it is my vct okay see my i minus i which is going outside okay equal to c d v c t d t okay now we can say that minus uh, d v c t equal to 1 by c and it is uh, i minus d t sorry minus 1 by c and i d t ok so now taking the integration so we can calculate the v c v c t so v c t will become equal to uh, minus 1 by c 0 to t i dt i is my constant it is given 0.5 so it will come out and i will go here t so minus i t c so my v c t is equal to minus i t c so c this is the equation i got for v c t so when t equal to 0 vc equal to 0 when i am increasing the t i will got like this so it is discharging linearly it is discharging okay so now vct 
will become minus what is the value of i 0.5 milli ampere so cross t divided by c c value of c is it is 5 micron farad so it is minus 6 so now this 10 will come so it is my 5 then it will go up it will become uh, 100 so it is 100 t so vct equal to 100 t okay vct is equal to 100 t now let's calculate again this uh, vce so applying the kvl there vct minus vce and then minus ie cross 4.3 plus 10 equal to 0 to check in what region our transistor is working we will calculate the vce and okay that's it so uh, my vct is equal to vct we are not putting the value of vct later we will uh, put uh, while after calculating this and uh, then minus vce vce is we have to calculate vce we don't know the value minus ie ie is 1 milliampere cross 4.3 and plus 10 equal to 0 so vct minus uh, vct plus it is 5.7 equal to vce okay so i got this equation that vce equal to vct plus 5.7 so now we know that our this uh, uh, this capacitor is discharging so let initially vct equal to 0 so vce will become equal to 0 plus 5.7 so it is my 5.7 then vct equal to minus 1 it is discharging okay right so it will become vce equal to minus 5.7 equal to 4.7 so similar similarly it will go down so at vce equal to 5 uh, sorry vct vct equal to 5 vce will become minus 5 plus 5.7 so it will become 0.7 volt so in question it is given that when vce is equal to 0.7 our transistor will be in saturation region okay it is given vce is at equal to 0.7 volt in saturation region vce equal to 0.7 so i am getting 0.7 here vc means now i am in what region i am in now i am in active region okay so at what time you are getting the uh, sorry saturation region sorry so saturation region so at what time i am getting the saturation region when vct is equal to how much minus 5 and how much i know vct was vct sorry it is my minus 100 minus 100 t okay it is equal to minus 5 so i can calculate now easily t so it is equal to 100 so i can say 50 millisecond okay so my t equal to 50 millisecond at which my transistor is switching from active to saturation region and this is my answer okay thank you